Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm uh, doing another tutorial, a scenario editor for dummies tutorial that is. And today I will show you the uh, teleport trigger. I already talked about that one, the teleport effect that is. I already talked about that in the last video very briefly, but now I will explain how to do it and why to do it. Yeah. So, first of all, very simple scenario here. I will have three units and want to transport them over. So first of all, you can only transport one unit at a time with the teleport trigger. So um, I made it, oops, being a looping trigger. Then first of all, there's a timer. So every second this will happen and uh, not faster. And the teleport object effect finally says I would like to transport from this area to this location. So, uh, so far so good, seems fairly easy, but I will uh, need to demonstrate to something to um, show you what is still missing here. So let's for example take the knight, then move here, and he moves through the tree lines back to this point. And it even gets worse if I'm sending him here. Now he will uh, infinitely walk, get teleported, walk through the tree lines, teleported, and this can lead to unwanted um, results as now he's outside of the area I want my units to be moving in. He could as well be stuck on a cliff, a cliff or something else. So um, this is that's clearly something not um, yeah, going as planned. But let me quickly explain why that is so. Um, well, once again I'm sending a unit here. He gets teleported, but um, he still tries to move to the location I tasked him to. So he still hasn't fulfilled his task. And once again here you see um, he got teleported, so its its place on the map got changed, its position on the map got changed, but not uh, the uh, task to move to this uh, tile here. So um, to solve this problem, uh, we actually don't have to do too much. Um, I think there are basically two things you could do. Um, you could either just stop the objects uh, sending here, or you could task the objects. So in this case, I've tasked the objects from this area to move a little bit forward. Uh, so this does not interfere with further teleporting units, so um, you don't block the teleporting uh, spot. Um, also, w what I would like to mention is, if you try to teleport a unit to a spot where it already is, which is already occupied, the unit doesn't simply disappear, it just does not teleport. So this is definitely a... Um, good uh, useful thing to have because if you would just remove the object here and create a new object here um, it could be that the object here gets removed but there's no new object here as the space would already be obstructed um, all right so we'll quickly demonstrate the second trigger so let's see what happens now um, here indeed, unit gets teleported and starts moving again. And same for the other two units, of course. Um, so now you uh, learned how to use the teleport trigger. Uh, of course, you could also do um, make a two-way teleporting. A trigger system. So one trigger teleports units here, and the other one would teleport them back. Uh, that is completely due to you, what you would like to do with it, how you would like to use it. Um, yeah, and as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.